not just about gaming. There's so many mm -hmm. different other applications that people can use VR for. So you can see Vive and Oculus both have these little lighthouses for room scale tracking. Mm -hmm. uh, what we've done here is we put the cameras inside the headset. Yes. So that, that you basically do away with it, which is perfect if you set up a mm -hmm. VR experience in your living room. For yes. example, so you don't have to have the big towers in your sure. back and get in the way. Now, how, how difficult was that design-wise? It's definitely been a, been a work in progress. It's yeah. happened over, over a longer period of time. Mm. But I think what we do have is um, in putting these, these two cameras here, we definitely have it make it a lot easier for our customers. Mm. And you know, that's, that's why it was done. Um, the, other, the other piece of the puzzle here is with, ergon with respect to ergonomics. You can feel, you give that a guy feel? Yeah. Yeah? All right, now give this guy a feel. Oh, it's much lighter. Much lighter. Yeah. Um, about 40% lighter. So okay. this is a, the, the final product should be around 350 grams. Okay. Uh, relative to Oculus and Vive at around 500, I think. Okay. Also, the weight um, will be up on the, up on the forehead, so it's not going to be sagging. The, the display won't be sagging down. and okay. won't put a lot of pressure on your on your face. Um, and we have a hinge design, which makes it really oh. easy okay. to go in and out of VR. So mm -hmm. if you want to check the time yeah. or, you know, come, come out of a VR uh, stupor, you do that very easily. And also, if you wear glasses, it's very it's convenient easier. to make adjustments. Come on. <laughs> Go for it. Oh. You, if it's too tight, you can oh, adjust. Oh, no, that's okay. The, the last piece of the ergonomics you're just going to find out, there's a knob on the back so you can tighten oh, it down or loosen oh, it up. Oh, this. Okay. One, one handed tweak right there. Oh, wow. That's actually very easy. Yeah. Oh, then that's. <laughs> That was, that's probably one of the hardest things that any of the VR demos that I've done is just getting it off. <laughs> yeah. And this is really nice. It's just really convenient, right? Yeah, that's very convenient. Cool. The goal with this one is to have it below um, between three and four hundred dollars. We're still finalizing some of the spec and some of the details, mm -hmm. um, so we don't have an exact price, but definitely south of four hundred. We're trying to drive to three hundred. Oh, okay, cool. And the display on that is um... uh, OLED. Okay. And it's designed to work with? Meeting the spec, Windows devices, running holographic. Okay. Pricing still uh, finalizing, and then timing. Timing wise, expect to see it sometime this year. Okay. But exact, uh, exact sure release yet. day is TBD. Okay.